Hey JVs, how's it going? Martin here. Um, I just wanted to make this quick video to show you all about the new plugin myself and Susanna are releasing. It's called InstaBuilder, and I think it, it honestly has got an unrivaled feature list for for any marketing kind of plugin that, that we might use ourselves. So I definitely think it's going to be very popular and a big seller. So what is InstaBuilder? Now, at a glance, you might be thinking this is just another optimized press style uh, product or like all those the different uh, Ryan Dice opt-in page plugins that came out there recently but the Insta Builder is so much more than all of that there plus the fact that it's a plugin means you don't have to mess with your theme at all so if, you, if you're married to optimize press and you, keep, you want to use that you still can but you probably won't need to after you see Insta Builder so here it is in the test test page. Um, you've just got your basic account settings. You can turn off and on the Powered by InstaBuilder stuff. So it's all fairly routine here. So I'm going to show you what it looks like on one of your pages, and you can see all the all the features and things are listed here on the JV site. So I don't need to list them off for you. I'm just going to show you it in action here now. Let's say I go to add a new page. This could just be a normal, uh, you know, normal WordPress page, but you see down the bottom here you have this whole InstaBuilder settings panel and if I just click this checkbox that activates InstaBuilder so we have a huge number of different options here and each one of these you select presents unique options again for each uh, each different thing so we have our main page you can choose a different type of page template you want we have like squeeze pages, sales pages, video pages and launch pages and those are the key the core pages that are needed and then each one of those you have uh, 15 or so designs here, different graphical designs, so you can you can create a lot of variations there. And then even on that again, you have five color variations to multiply that even more. Then if you scroll down into the custom Insta Builder area here, it looks quite similar to the normal WordPress one, but we've got a an whole extra row of of items here. It's not it's not the clunky kind of short code thing. It comes up as a drop down list, so you can see the the short codes that are ready to go here, we've got ones for video, columns and loads of buttons. The good thing about the, the buttons is that it builds it directly in the you know in the the, the window here so you're gonna see it. Stuff for pop ups, uh, countdowns, tab content, opt in form, a viral download lock, which people have to conduct viral activity to unlock a download. Right away that's a unique feature and that's normally that would be a full plugin on its own. And we have a Facebook Connect reveal so they have to connect to reveal the content again that would be normally be a complete plugin on its own but we have it here as part of InstaBuilder then we have built in styles here which if I just select one now they're, they're going to directly mix the style up here in your editor so you can see it there it's out of the box um, let's, let's do a few more quickly here to show you what they do rounded box yellow so we click that and you can see it so everything appears directly in here so it's going to be very rapid for you to build things like sales pages bonus pages and all that so I'm, I'm kind of giving this demo to show you it for people who look from a marketer's point of view the way we would use it so you know that uh, any of your clients or customers on your list sorry, they're going to be able to use this the same way as well so it's very flexible you can turn on the navigation on and off and you can customize your, your footer as well so that's just the main options and you can customize your background completely just check this you can either use a color upload a background image and you can choose how to align it make it scroll fixed whatever you want you have your own logo again custom logo options here cost stuff you add on your your autoresponder code here and the builder parses that out and you can either have it so that people have to do a manual form submission where they just type their email or they do it via facebook connect to make it easier and you also get their best email that people usually have with their Facebook account. You get the form title and all the opt-in code and you can check if you want to use simple form integration or the advanced one. The advanced one is where it, it's going to map the input you have to to the different uh, fields that are required and stuff. So lots of options and this is all drag and drop so you can drag this around and choose what you require everything else. So very very flexible and I'm sure you'll agree it's pretty advanced as well turn back to simple again you can set all your field names here you can use a pre-made image button you can use a text button if you choose text you just pick the color and then enter the text that goes over it or you can upload your own button so again maximum flexibility and you can also enable smart opt-in 
Smart opt-in is something you normally have to do this in your autoresponder settings. That is the thank you page to get taken to. With Instabuilder you just click to enable smart uh, opt-in. Then you choose from one of the existing pages you have here. And then uh, it gives you the, the URL as well. So you just, you just paste that in then to your autoresponder. So the opt-in section alone here this is this is normally an entire plugin on its own, so hopefully you're seeing the the power of Instabuilder here and why you know it's going to be a good move for you to promote this to your list. We have loads of stuff for video here. Uh, I'm going to let you you can log into the demo and check this all yourself. Uh, <laughs> hopefully you don't make any crazy pages that are going to offend people, but you can log in and play away with it. But you've got a uh, options for like hosted video, say if it's on S3 or embed embedded video like YouTube or whatever you want, and you can play around with all that comment system here we have you can enable Facebook comments or discus comments which is another uh, kind of a comment management thing and you've got the full ability to use different fonts style it as you want custom title and everything so again that'll appear at, at a certain part in some of the templates we have a whole sharing system here so the share bar is this is also something that would be another plugin it's one of those floating share bars that appears on the right hand side or the left hand side you can choose which side here and you can tick which uh, social sharing options you want social bookmarking sites pinterest things like that and again that's going to appear right at the side of your page this is another this would be another plugin on its own we have an exit redirect system so if you were going to leave the page you've got all your standard redirect options here you can uh, enable it, give the redirect URL and the message before they click to leave or stay. And again this is something that uh, would be it would be another plugin on its own. Um, and I, can, I, I use all this stuff myself so I have a whole load of plugins that are going to be replaced now by me and Susanna's product. We have the viral download option which would be another plugin. Um, basically people have to conduct a viral action to get access to a download you can have Facebook share and you can see all the options here with a Twitter share one as well so they have to tweet to get the download and you've got full style options here as well we have a custom area for adding scripts like say your Google Analytics script whatever you want and then the last one here we have mobile switcher so if you turn on mobile redirection it can automatically send them to a mobile page so you choose whichever specific page you want now bear in mind all the instabuilder stuff is it is responsive so it's going to appear uh, correctly on the mobile device or tablet so that that's cool but if you want to have ultimate control you can send them to a special page here that, that's in your, your page list so that's just a rough overview of all the, the instabuilder options here um, you know I'm sure you're going to agree it's pretty flexible especially the styles and you can add these in the main content area as well at the top so you know we've got checkli checklist styles we've got all, all sorts of different different cool things just gonna apply a few more so you can see them here. You're gonna you're gonna see all this, uh, you know, once you log in and anyway, play around with it. But now one of the other very very cool features, and you know, anybody serious about their their offers and their marketing efforts, this is gonna be very useful. So we have a built-in split tester within Instabuilder. Okay, so let's say we're in here. I want to create a new split test. You just click Add New. There's a dashboard that lists it all here. So we're gonna give it a name. You create a split test URL. So let's say you had a squeeze page you want to split test you would, you would call it squeeze one here or whatever then you choose the amount of different pages you want in the split test so let's say you have a video squeeze page and a normal squeeze page like one of the ones from the instabuilder templates here so you can have the video one with instabuilder and the, the normal one you select the the ones you want here and you, you select the weighting so if you put this to two that means for every time this appears once this will appear twice and so on and then you set up uh, the redirect option you want here. You can add unlimited pages as well to be split tested. And the cool thing here is it also tests the uh, the conversion. Okay, so the way that would work is on one of these squeeze pages, it's gonna they're gonna opt in, or if it was a sales page, there's gonna be a buy button. That's gonna take them to uh, a certain thank you page. So all you have to do is make sure you pick that thank you page here. And the conversion tracking and we've got code added that it's going to detect which page sent sent them there via cookie and it's going to detect how they arrived there so that will help track the conversions which will be listed then on the, the front part of the split tests and then you can set 
your purchase price here so you can work out then the, the EPC and all that sort of stuff so very flexible and it really is the most different features I've seen in one plugin this normally would require a suite of four to five plugins and a theme now you've got it all in one go so I think uh, I think it's going to do should do, I don't want to jinx myself but hopefully it's going to do very well there's a lot of effort gone into it and you know we've set everything up here for it to be a good launch and hope to have your support if you have any questions at all then you can just hit me up or Susanna up from the contact details on the page here thanks